Hey fellow collectors, today we'll be taking a look at Marvel Legends Nick Fury from Secret Invasion. Now if you have watched the TV series, you know who this guy is. If you've watched any of the Marvel movies, you know who this guy is. It's Samuel Jackson. So, if we look at the back, we see Samuel here. In his Nick Fury guys, we see he has some accessories here, and he comes with the left leg of the Hydro Stomper. If we look on the side here, we can see that he is the third figure in the line. So let's get this guy weighed and see how much we have to work with. And we see that this guy is coming in at 8.2 ounces. So let's get this guy out of the box and see how cool he is. Okay, now that we have this guy out of the box, we can look at one of his accessories. He comes with the Hydra Stomper left leg. All right, so let's put this to the side. <coughs> Excuse me. And so we look at his accessories. We see he does come with this gun here. And he does come with blast effects. There is a hole at the end of the gun itself, so you can just insert to show him firing the weapon. Or it does come with these effects here, which are very nice. have the smoking gun. Always nice to have options in displaying. He does come with another accessory weapon. A little small handgun. And it comes with another blast effect and another smoking barrel. Now as we turn our focus to Nick Fury self, we can see him staring down at you asking what is in your wallet. Um, see he has the eye patch here and the beanie that he was wearing in the TV show, which is very nice. And we do see he just draped in this trench coat that covers his whole body and blocks any kind of articulation. So. That is it. He's wearing a coat. And then you can lift up it a little bit and see that he does have black pants on. And he does have these shiny shoes on. Alright, as far as the articulation goes, he can do a nice T-pose. Arm has a swivel and does rotate all the way around. Does have a double bend at the elbow and his wrist does rotate all the way. Now, as we turn our attention to the head, we can see he does a nice upper movement and see that his beanie does come off, which is a nice touch. And he can look down a little bit not much, but some, and he has nice left and right movement. Now, as I said, he does have limited articulation because of the coat. And as far as the legs go, you can get them out this much because of the coat. Forward and back will allow just a little bit. But he does have a rotation at the thigh and a double bend at the knee. And his ankle is a standard turn around. Actually, this one does turn around and has the ball joint, so it's a double. So it bends right here underneath the jeans and the ankle. He does have two pick holes, and they are at the front, not the back. So if you do have a stand like this, it would be beneficial to put him at the front. Now the figure is a little stiff. So if we get this out of the way, see that his beanie did drop. We'll see 
that Mr. Fury does come in right at the six and a half inch. So he'd be just a little bit taller than a stormtrooper and fit in nicely with the traitor guard from Warhammer 40k. So it's nice to have another Nick Fury if you um, have the one from the other Marvel Legends. Um, you don't have to get this unless you want the, the Hydro Stopper, which I did. So. But yeah, it's always nice to have a, a spy among your ranks, huh? So, I definitely will be using the blast effects probably on a, a Joe or something else that has a, a weapon. So it's always nice to have those options, right? Alright, till next time guys, remember, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.